Welcome to today's video, everybody. We are at Fuji Speedway for a very special drift event. Um, I don't really know how to describe this except like the weird drift cars of Japan. And not in a negative or bad way whatsoever. This is seriously super sick and badass. But let me show you some of the drift cars, drift cars that are here today. This is a drift car. This is also a drift car. And this as well is also a drift car. But wait. This is also a drift car. And so is this. And so is this. That's an S15, by the way, just different. And so is this. So is this. So is this. Okay, you get what I'm saying. But also, so are these. Actually, it's really cool to see some American cars getting into drifting over here. Um, yeah, so welcome to today's event. And this really is a perfect example of the Japanese will drift anything. I love Japan, and this is one of the many reasons why. We've made some new friends today, and that is the K-Soul crew. And you can see them here right now. Konnichiwa! <laughs> and they're gonna teach us everything about PVC drift K-Cars and everything we need to do to make them driftable. And uh, we're gonna go out and do some driving with them in a little bit. So that's gonna be lots of fun. But there's a specific formula to make these driftable and they're gonna teach us. As you guys know, previously on the channel, we tried some K-car drifting with PVC and the K-van and um, well, it didn't really go according to plan, did it? <laughs> so I'm really excited that we get to learn from the guys that literally like invented this. No one had ever done this before. K cars, PVC. Of course, PVC drifting's been around forever on, like you know, the little, the little green machine carts and stuff like that. But the first people to ever do this on K cars and bring it to the track, these guys, K Soul. While we wait for their session to come up for them to head out on track, let's take a look at some other cars that are here. And this also gets me excited because we're starting to see. I mean, these aren't exactly new cars, you know, they're a fair few years old now. But to see new platform cars like these here in Japan becoming like more common as drift cars. People are grabbing these Lexuses, taking them out on track and drifting them now. Like they kind of all just look stock. That's cool. These guys are out there shredding. Most of them are automatic too. And I think like what excites me the most about seeing this is that it really shows Japan and their nature and just like how much they really do love drifting. And that gets me excited because I feel the same way. Like no matter what happens to the car market, no matter how expensive these become, or these, or these, and these, and these, and these, you know, more traditional style drift cars, but Japan still loves drifting at its core. And like I said, they're gonna drift anything because it's, it's just such a fun motorsport. And I wanna see more and more people get behind it no matter what they can drive. So that's what gets me hyped about events like this. We even got this BMW out here and he's been slaying it too. We've seen this car actually at Daikoku PA before. Uh, I think even in Akihabara at um, UDX. Love the subtle Latasha on the fender and the door. But yeah, of course we got some. Konnichiwa. So it's pretty net. Got the crown, this guy slays. We got an NB Roadster, super cool. I like that. Also, I love this intake. This, this needs to be like, I don't know who makes that, but that is brilliant. They always put it over there and I have no idea why on the, on the Miatas and Roadsters. Yeah, more Lexuses, guys. People are really starting to get into like, you know, they're, they're finding the next cheap, good drift car here in Japan. And that's what I like to see. This is the dream truck for me right here. Something that we can put two Sylvias on or a Chaser and a Sylvia or a Sylvia or a Chaser, like, you know, a, a, a traditional drift car and then a K car for PVC drifting or something. You know what I mean? Dream truck right here. 
So let's take a look now at some of the more traditional drift cars that we're used to seeing here in Japan. Really clean JZX90, female driven by the way. She's uh, over there right now currently. Really nice car actually, and she slays. Damn, you just can't find 90s like, like this anymore. It's so hard. Everyone just, you know, is turning them back to stock and putting them in auctions right now to make money. This is really cool. I love it. Early 2000s vibe. We've got like kind of a pink leopard over there. We've got some, you know, music video playing. Pikachu dildo shifter. That's actually awesome. Looks like it's custom made. I dig that. You know, stuff like this. So good. And then uh, we've got Goto-san, FDJ2 driver. Konnichiwa. And we've got this really nice Kermit the Frog Green, I guess, S15. Well, what I love about this is this guy's like Minnie Mouse obsessed. He's even made like Minnie Mouse little cutouts in his bumper for airflow. He's painted his inner cooler yellow. I love that. Normally everyone paints them black. Kono Kurama, omoshiroi. Love it. Love this. This is sick. Oh man. He's even got like pink eccentrics. The guy gets it. Pink bits, man. Pink bits. Mwah. Pink bits. <laughs> oh. We got a beautiful Cresta on RPF1s. Damn, I actually like that. We got a Koki S14 with what I think is the wastegate dump. Excuse me, saying gate that's got. Gate Sugoi. He's got Brembo brakes as well. Yeah, that's the wastegate output. <laughs> いいね。SR2 normal SR liter, uh, but just like a nice turbo upgrade. いいね。This looks really clean. Love this. Off goes the 90. Dude, such a good event. So many great people here today. Just quickly, I wanted to check out these Mustangs, and what's really cool is this gentleman here is uh, handicapped. He can't use his legs, but he is here in a Mustang drifting with hand controls. Super cool. Very cool. That he can enjoy drifting, and actually he's driving really well too with it. Can't use his legs at all. All hand controls. Right there. So cool to see. I love seeing stuff like that. And then we've got this Mustang as well. This guy's been shredding. Supercharged V8, obviously. Absolutely crazy. Look at these bull tires. Nothing left on them. It's good to see more and more of these coming over here. Then we got this one. With your boy. Well, on again. He drifts every day. A different car every day. Yeah. あの、using his brain for more left hand drive practice. Maybe a future RTR driver. I hope so. I hope so. Hey. watch out, LZ. Good to see what Tadu out here in he literally bought this in the states and shipped it over here. It's pretty cool. This makes me miss my JZX. Look at the 110 straight too. because I'm kind of biased because it's RB and Nissan, you know, but it's just a really cool build. I like it. Nice upgraded turbo down there with an external wastegate welded on the top, factory manifold. Just looks good, you know? Looks like a lot of fun too. I love the, the livery. Even the roof stuff. I don't know if you could call that a toucher, but I think it's cool. I'm a little biased, but a nice pink 180SX. And then uh, we've seen this thing a bunch at Evisu, of course. 
but uh, it still never gets old. Really never gets old. <laughs> I love it. Just like literally self tapering a Prius front end on this is epic. Look at it. He's got his, his dos, do, his oomphs, oomphs, oomphs. Right there, speakers, interior, you know, looking sick. <laughs> if you guys don't know much about these cars, these are kind of, I guess, equivalent to the, uh, what do you call it in the States, like the Infinities. It's like, um, yeah, I mean, he's got the Infinity badge on there and the hybrid badge from the Prius for, lo for lols. Um, these are a Fuga over here. They came with a V8 engine and uh, he's changed it to Goofa. <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> the sunroof fix. <laughs> Everything about this car is just awesome because it's just a beater, who cares? But I just love that he put a Prius front end on it. I think that's awesome. So today we're going to be jumping in this car and uh, they're going to teach us right now how to put the PVC and everything on. Oh, no, my oh, she's taking a side. Miyake san? Hi. You've probably seen him in Option Magazine. Is there anyone PVC? Hi. Kaicho des. So des. Onigai shimas. Oshite kudasai. Let's go. So Miyake san's gonna teach us right now how to put the PVC onto the tire. Tire no size Okay, so it needs to be 145 by 70 and 12 inch. Okay, so you're holding it with the, you gotta hold it with your foot and then you'd use the pry bars to kind of, you know, wedge it on there. Hey, you can tie it, okay, Scar or Susume this car? Ah, so it's much it's much more recommended to use uh, studless tires, like the winter studless tires. It holds it on there better, and when you're using water and stuff like that, it, it's really good. Hi. Ah. Oh, okay. So we have to make sure that when you put it on, that you line it up perfectly in the center. Uh, okay, there you go. Mm. So it's important as well that you get the size to match that. And that's it, it's now on there. And on PVC, it's one of the good ideas. So around around fifty-five dollars, oh, about fifty dollars USD, you get a set of these. So generally, like if if you've got the water, if it's like a rainy day, they're gonna last a very long time, probably the entire event. But if it's like an event like today, it's hot and everything, they have the water sprays and stuff. Generally, each session like 10-15 minutes of driving, so not too bad. So the tire pressure that you want to run this particular thickness of PVC at is 2.2 kilo, 2.2 bar, I guess is what we would say uh, in Japan. Um, and if the PVC is a little thinner, then obviously you want to increase the tire pressure a little bit. And if it's the thinnest style of PVC, then you go to 2.4 bar. So, damn that. So the best thing about this is, if you don't have money, you could still drift with this because it's so much cheaper, right? I know. Gas to toka, zenbu yasui desu yo ne. Kuruma mo yasui ne. Yeah. Mm. So this is his drift machine. Automatic, turbo, front wheel drive. One of the most important things is the water sprayer. And this is what helps the PVC stay cool so that it stays on there. And uh, they have a big tank here, just a little pump and a switch that goes to the battery. And then the water sprays are just lined up here with two holes, so they spray through. And that's it. Simple as that. His friend here as well that drives with him. Same thing. I believe this one might actually not be turbo though. But this one's manual. And I did ask them, I said like, what do you recommend, automatic or manual? They said they definitely recommend manual. Uh, it's a lot easier and, and better. Um, but you can use an automatic, no problem. Which we're obviously gonna see. Hi. 
<laughs> okay, we're cutting much He wants to take all these, these K cars to the US or Australia and go driving and do something cool over there for an event. So if anyone who's watching this has the ability to do that, get in contact with these guys. K Soul. So here's his Twitter page here. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Make sure you give this guy a follow. If you wanna see some cool content from him here in Japan, or if you wanna get in contact with him. All right, it's time. Miyaki san's gonna show us what's up. <laughs> He's flicked on the switch now for the water sprayer. He's already spraying. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous. Yo, look how beautiful Fuji looks. Focus, focus. <laughs> it's so quiet. Whoa! It's so quiet. Let's go! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, we're so close. Whoa! My, my, my! Sugat! Oh! <laughs> This is awesome, Tanoshi! He's just saying he doesn't want to hit that car because it's so pretty. We're driving now with some more Boro Boro, some more uh, beat up cars, so he doesn't feel bad if we hit him. <laughs> Let's go! Straight in for the kill! Love this, dude! We're doing this! We're 100%. Yo, yo! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so close. My Miyaksa. Honestly, it's good. So fast. Oh my god, my god. Save. Hanoshi, this is so much fun. Good tandem practice, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this looks like so much fun. Whoa! Dude, the, this looks like a workout though. Oh man. Steering this looks like a workout. Oh my god. You might now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Really. I'm 
本当にありがとうございます、えー、楽しかった十分は長いなだよね、長いね<笑> Taking a quick look now at the PVC You can see it's still on there It's pretty hot, like it's warm, it's not too burning hot But yeah, you can see like One thing is like you get a lot of flat spots I guess if you use a lot of handbrake You can see there's a pretty big flat spot right there But yeah, 15 minutes non-stop drifting right now Not too bad And then uh Yeah, in the front end, Miyaki-san was saying they have rack spaces on this and extended the lower arms a little bit. And uh, with a little bit of a better alignment, they're able to get a lot more angle out of it. So they haven't cut and shut the knuckles at all, just lower arms and a rack spacer. It's pretty awesome. Here we go, here we go. Look at that. You're getting there. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. So the limit... The limit is the drive shaft. You can't really go much more because they're front wheel drive, right? So you can't go too much angle on the front. Ine. Miyoki-san, kyo arigatou gozaimashita. Mate yoroshiku, arigaishimasu. We're definitely going to be uh, getting into that and probably joining the K-Soul crew. That's just way too much fun and I think when it comes to like tandem practice and stuff like that, there's a lot of benefit from doing that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... It just, it looks like way too much fun and I don't want to miss out on that, you know? So normally I'd say ka -chow, but I think it's more appropriate to say K-chow, if you know what I mean. You get it? k car ka -chow, k, -ch k -chow. yeah, you get it. On to the next weird drift car here in Japan. A high ace drift car. Me. If you drift a van and that starts happening, well, Toto's out in his uh, Mustang. Yo! So cool. van is shredding it absolutely shredding it all right so i had to come up here and have a quick chat to the owner uh, i just noticed the custom mirrors are pretty sick too um but yeah it's the stock engine they put a turbo on it and tuned it and that's that's pretty much it i mean they've obviously made some modifications and stuff like that uh for um uh getting extra angle and whatnot out of it and camber and the alignment but yeah Pretty cool. I didn't know that you could bolt a turbo onto these and tune them so easily. Super cool. Let's go! Let's go! All right, everybody's attempting backies now. Yo! Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Backies, let's go, come on. Let's go. He's so close. At this event, you can get tapioca. How good is that? So good. So check this lineup out. We've got an S13 U Ultra, a Mitsuyoka S15, a Mustang, a Fugu, S15 truck, and then a 180SX, and then a Mustang. So many different 
different cause today, this event. So cool. So just checking out the Mitsuoka and uh, I was talking with the owner, 2.2 litre stroke Tome engine, SR obviously. Nice big TDO6 there from Greddy as well. Really nice setup. Making a fair bit of power too. He said the max that they've uh, spun this up is 580 horsepower. Very cool. In this thing. So unique. So for those that don't know, uh, Mitsuoka only made 400 of these for the S13 and then with the S15 they only made 100. So this is actually a very rare car. Only 100 ever made. So there you guys go. I hope this video gave you a really good taste of the weird and bizarre drift cars here in Japan. And like I said, there is nothing absolutely wrong with it and it is probably the coolest thing that I've ever seen and gotten to experience today. And it's something that I wouldn't mind dabbling a little bit in. So let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite weird and bizarre car that you saw here today? And if you lived here in Japan, what would you do? Would you be driving one of the cars that we saw today or one of the more traditional drift cars that you see over here? Now is the perfect time for me to remind you, smash that like button, write me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. Ciao, Mata. Oh my God.